morning folks. Welcome back to Lena Bay Fishing. Oh, we're out here chasing squid this morning. We've just put in. I've got to say, it's possibly the most beautiful morning I've seen this year. Try a bit of scent on jig. Jigs we're using are number threes. They're uh, egglicious. We're in 1.8 meters just in the cove here at Redcliffe. We're drifting around, there's weed and there's rock everywhere through here, so uh, the squid are all through it. We just got to find a patch. Once we've found a patch, then we'll concentrate on that patch until it's exhausted and move on and find a different patch. If you're fishing daytime, it's just like fishing for flathead. You're hopping it back to the boat, you're waiting for a strike. When you feel the strike, you let it run and uh, it'll exhaust itself. It'll come to the top and just wind in nice and slowly. Make sure you use a net to lift them in because they do fall off at the boat. Shallow everywhere here. Hey? Shallow everywhere here. Yeah. Like the weed's so long. Too. Oh, God, I'm on. Throw straight in front of the boat. It's right at the top of the water now. See where I am? Yep. So throw behind me. Another nice little tiger, and he just got him too. Ooh, yep. He just got him. Yeah, I just had a touch too. Uh, that's the jig I'm using at the moment, just a burnt orange. They're delicious. The squid's only about 200 grams. Point him away from your boat when you uh, do catch one. Lovely squid, throw him in the bucket. Come on. Oh, it's a good one too, right in front of the boat. So, see where it is? Cast the other side of that. See where it is? So, always take your time with these things or they'll come off. See how it's on the top now? Yeah. So it's exhausted. It'll come in there, leave a good amount of line so you can lift it right up. Grab the net. Hopefully it doesn't squirt me. This is a good one, this one, three or four hundred grams. That's the sort of size that I like to take home for dinner. I'll give you a quick run through of the gear I'm using today. This is an eight foot two inked eggy special by Akuma. The reason you use an eggy rod over a normal rod, you've got to be able to throw these weights all day long, which is quite a heavy weight. Your normal little brim rods and normal little rods you use around the estuaries probably won't, the tips won't enjoy throwing this sort of weight on a regular basis. Also, it's an eight foot two rod, slightly longer than a normal little brim flicker. It bends the way, the action on it, it's quite a slow action. So when it bends, it bends in the middle and gives you this nice even curve as a squid run, a squid doesn't like fight like a fish and it doesn't thump around and run about. It wants to go backwards away from you until it's exhausted and once it's exhausted it'll come to the surface. Once it's on the surface you'll nice slow wind all the way back to the boat, put in the net and you've got yourself a squid. That's the way it works. The bigger the squid, the harder they'll run away from you and you want that cushion in the rod to be able to take the constant whoosh, whoosh, whoosh of the squid. So that's why we use these rods. The reels. We're using 2,000 size reels. I think there's a, and a Pixar on that one, and this one's just an Akuma bait runner. Um, the reels, only important part about a reel is got to be light enough for you to be able to hold for quite a few hours of casting, and it's got to have a nice smooth drag. You want that drag to be nice and smooth. So when the squid picks it up and starts running, it's a nice smooth drag as he runs away from you. The smaller squid won't run that much, they'll come straight to the surface and you'll bring them in nice and easy, that 200, 300 grammers. And once you get to the 600, 700 and up to a kilo, those squid will run like clappers and, and oh, you're on and that's a good one too. We may actually have a kilo squid coming to the boat.
come to the surface yet? Yep. go 400 grams this one nice squid oh, very nice squid squid of the day actually that's probably closer to five four fifty five hundred that one all right so that's the jig jordan's using at the moment the uh, squid seem to like these light light pinks and oranges today so that's what we've got on both rods so that's that's what we've got there, probably 400, 450 grams, maybe even 500 grams this one, I feel of it, it's quite a heavy squid, huge head. That is a good squid, it really is. I'm going to call that probably 500. Oh, look at that. Squid? Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's followed it all the way in. Where? My only squeeze. Yeah. Oh, yep. Come oh, on. You're on. Go, you good thing. It's a good one, too. It's running. Oh, yep. There he is. Yeah. The net's just behind you there. If I stop reeling, I'll lose it, but won't I? No. Oh, he's fully taken it too. Yep. So, grab the net and do your thing. Oh, he's only just on, actually. You may lose him. No, don't say that. No, he's got that. There you go. Ooh. See, you did drop off yeah, dropped in it. the net. Calamare, <laughs> calamare. So we've just come out here to Turner's, just to fish through Turner's. Turner's about six to seven metres. About six or eight bombies in here and artificial bombies that they put in. And it holds quite a good good volume of um, small fish and the squid come in here and seek shelter out of the car around these bombies and feed on these little fish so Come on. Yep. Just a little one. Grab the net for me. I uh, don't bet. You reckon? bait size well that's it from us thanks for watching hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel for more videos and we'll catch you on the next one take care